Hello everyone. I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. If you like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more updates. Relation. In this class, we are going to learn the definition of relation, examples to understand definition of relation and three important points. Definition of a relation. Let A comma B are any two sets. Then any subset of A cross B, any subset of A cross B is called relation from A to B. What is relation? Any subset of A cross B is called relation from A to B. Here you need to know two things. One is subset. You already learned about subset in sets chapter. However, while doing examples, I will explain once again what is subset. And second point is A cross B. A cross B is nothing but Cartesian product of sets A and B. This we learn in class 1. However, what is relation? Any subset of A cross B is called relation from A to B. Now, we will try to understand the definition of relation with Example, let A equals to set 1 comma 2 and set B equals to 3 comma 4 comma 5. Now, how to calculate A cross B? Now, you take an element 1 in set A and you pair with all the elements of set B. That is 1 comma 3, 1 comma 4, 1 comma 5. Now, you take second element in set A. That is, you take 2 in set A and pair with all the elements of set B. That is, 2 comma 3. 2 comma 4, 2 comma 5. However, we learn how to calculate A cross B in class 1. If you want to learn how to calculate A cross B, please watch class 1 video. Now, I will consider a set R1. The set R1 contains two elements. Those two elements are ordered pair 1 comma 3, ordered pair 2 comma 3. Now, the question is, the set R1 is a subset of A cross B. The question is, the set R1 is a subset of A cross B. When we say R1 is subset of A cross B, if all the elements present in R1 are present in A cross B, then we say R1 is a subset of A cross B. Now we will check that all the elements present in R1 are present in A cross B or not. We will check it now. Now in set R1, you take ordered pair 1 comma 3. Is this ordered pair 1 comma 3 is present in A cross B? Yes. Now you take second element in set R1 that is ordered pair 2 comma 3. This ordered pair 2 comma 3 is present in A cross B? Yes. It means what? It means all the elements present in set R1 are present in set A cross B. What it says? It says that R1 is a subset of A cross B. If R1 is a subset of A cross B, then we can say R1 is a relation from A to B. Now you come back to the definition once. Any subset of A cross B is called relation from A to B. I considered only one set that is R1 and I proved that R1 is a subset of A cross B. So I can say that R1 is a relation from A to B. Like that, we can generate few more sets which are subsets of A cross B. We can say them as a relation from A to B. Now we will see few more examples to understand the definition of relation more clearly. Now you consider a set R2 which contains the element 1 comma 5, 2 comma 5, 2 comma 3, 1 comma 4. I consider a set R2 like this. Now I will check is this R2 is subset of A cross B or not. Now I will take the elements of R2. You take an element 1 comma 5 in R2 which is present in A cross B? Yes. Now you take an element 2 comma 5 in R2 which is present in A cross B? Yes. 
Now you take an element 2 comma 3 in set R2. Is it present in A cross B? Yes. Now you take an element 1 comma 4 in R2 which is present in A cross B? Yes. What it means? It means that all the elements present in R2 are present in A cross B. So what we can say? We can say that R2 is a subset of A cross B. If R2 is a subset of A cross B, we can say that R2 is a relation from A to B. So what is the definition of relation? Any subset of A cross B is called relation from A to B. Now we will see one more example which is not a relation. Now consider a set R3 which contains the elements ordered pair 1 comma 2 and 2 comma 4. I consider a set R3. Now you check that R3 is subset of A cross B or not. You observe the ordered pair 1 comma 2 in set R3. The ordered pair 1 comma 2 is there in A cross B? You check it. Ordered pair 1 comma 2 is there in A cross B? No, ordered pair 1 comma 2 is not there in A cross B. So what we can say? We can say that R3 is not a subset of A cross B. If R3 is not a subset of A cross B, we can say that R3 is not a relation from A to B. I hope you got some clarity about definition of relation of a function. What is relation? Any subset of A cross B is called relation from A to B. Till now we learned the definition of relation and few examples to understand the definition of a relation. Now we will learn few important points related to definition of relation. Note 1. From sets chapter we know that if set A has m elements then number of subsets of set A equal to 2 power m. This we know from sets chapter. Suppose if set A has 3 elements, then number of subsets of set A equal to 2 power 3. Correct? Similarly, number of subsets of A cross B. How many subsets will be there for a set A cross B? What? Yes, that equal to 2 power number of elements in A cross B. That is nothing but 2 power n of A cross B. In class 1, we learn that number of elements in A cross B equal to mn. When, when set A is having m elements, set B is having n elements, then number of elements in A cross B equal to mn. So, number of subsets of A cross B, we can write it as 2 power mn. Not 2. Now, I will consider a set R4. The set R4 is empty set. Is empty set is a subset of A cross B? Yes. In sets chapter, we learn that empty set is subset of every set. So, R4 is a subset of A cross B? Yes. So, R4 is also a relation from A to B. R4 is empty set. That's why this relation is called void relation or empty relation. Note 3. Consider a set R5. I'll consider R5 as which contains all the elements of A cross B. What is R5? I take all the elements of A cross B. You observe this R5. I am taking all the elements of A cross B. 1 comma 3, 1 comma 4, 1 comma 5, 2 comma 3, 2 comma 4, 2 comma 5. Now, you what you say about this R5? Is this R5 is a subset of A cross B? Is this R5 is a subset of A cross B? From sets chapter, we know that every set is subset to itself. So, R5 is a subset of A cross B. So, R5 is a relation from A to B. Moreover, this relation is called universal relation. I hope you understand this class. If you like this video, please press like button below. Share this video with your friends. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.